Hello everyone, this is Damon down here at Sellers RV and today we're taking a look at the 2022 Jayco J-Flight 267BHSW. This is easily our best selling floor plan from Jayco. It has been an absolute home run for us over the past couple of years. They've been making it a very, very long time and it's probably one of my favorite floor plans as well. So let's get right into it and I'll show you some of its features. If you go to the very front of the coach, you've got a power front tongue jack. Touch of the button goes up, goes down. Saves you a whole bunch of arm work when you're hooking and unhooking to your tow vehicle. You've got two 30 pound propane tanks. So you've got a little bit extra propane with you when you're going out on the weekend. It comes with a diamond plate uh, protection cover right here. So it'll keep rocks off the front of the coach. And if you're going down gravel roads, which we have lots of around here, you do not want your trailer getting all banged up with little rock dents. So that'll keep it looking good over time. Uh, every trailer that we uh, sell, we get you set up with full propane tanks, uh, battery, spare tires, sewer hose, parking plug adapter, pretty much everything you need to go out and hit the road. If you take a look at the side of the coach, you can see right here, this is your pass-through storage. Goes all the way from this side of the trailer to the other side. And inside there, you have a propane griddle, which I will get to in a second. Underneath, you can see that all of the construction and the wood they were using is real wood. It is not OSB or press board. Uh, that is a common theme throughout Jayco products. They use real wood and everything. Um, they aren't using OSB or any other cheaper material. This uh, tends to make them a little bit heavier, also tends uh, to make them cost a little bit more, but they also don't fall apart over the years and uh, you've got a good quality trailer. So there's something to be said about that for sure. While we're on that topic, uh, Jayco also has a two year bumper to bumper warranty with a third year structural. Standard in the industry is a one year warranty. Um, they put these things together a little bit tighter, a little bit better so they can give you an extra year warranty. They're not worried about it. On the side here, you also have a fully electric awning. Again, touch of the button, goes in, goes out. If it gets too windy, run inside, put it in quick. It's not a big hassle at all. You've got an LED light strip underneath that looks very nice at night as well. And you've got the better steps. These are the more ride steps that came out with these about two to three years ago. Uh, they fold up inside the doorway during travel and then fold out and touch directly to the ground. These are very nice if you're on a gross gravel road. Um, I'm sure some of you have probably had to deal with the muddy gross steps. You pull them out and they're grinding and making a bunch of noise. Not fun. Uh, these fold up inside the door, stay clean, and then it's ready to rock when you get to your location. You've got two outside speakers as well as speakers on the inside. There's a Bluetooth deck. You can hook your phone up to it, uh, play music from your phone or just run the radio, whichever you prefer. If you look down low at the tires, these are Goodyear tires. Uh, Jayco puts Goodyear tires on every single one of their products. Uh, just ensures that you have a good tire going down the road and you don't have to worry about blowouts or any other issues like that. If you do happen to have a blowout, underneath Jayco puts galvanized steel in all of their wheel wells. This will protect your sidewall and your flooring. If you don't have that steel there and you have a blowout, uh, it can cause major damage, which nobody wants to deal with. So a little bit of extra protection is a good thing. You have an outside kitchen at the back. This is a little bar fridge to keep your drinks cool if you're out front having a campfire. Uh, sink there, a little bit extra storage here. And then that griddle I showed you at the front, there is a mounting bracket on the rear bumper so you can put the griddle there and you'll have a full setup outside kitchen it has a quick disconnect propane fitting at the bottom so you don't have to run extra bottles just uh hook up to there and it'll tap in your two tanks up front you'll be good to go ladder on the back uh jaco uses 5 8 plywood in all of their roofs you can go up there walk around without any issues uh, they have a video online they stack bricks on top of their roof until it collapses they make it up to 4500 pounds and then she caves in so don't have to worry about walking up there you take a look inside of the coach you can see that it has two double bunks at the very back Jayco bunks are rated at 600 pounds a piece so you can easily sleep two adults in there there's no problems and this is a gas and electric eight cubic foot fridge um, this one here is actually a Rocky Mountain edition uh, so what that gets you is the bigger eight cubic foot fridge instead of a six cubic foot uh, secondary fresh water tank so this trailer actually has 80 gallons of fresh water capacity which is just huge and it also gets a gas and electric uh, hot water heater if it did not have this package it would be strictly ga uh, gas and you have fully sealed countertops no tea molding there those soak up water over time and they shrink it doesn't look very good 10 years down the road uh, again all the construction throughout this coach is 
a uh, real wood construction. There's no OSB or any other material like that. If you open up your cabinets, these are real wood cabinets and they are screwed, not stapled. You can grab these trusses and just pull on them as much as you want. There is screws in behind. A lot of other manufacturers will just staple that and you would not be able to do what I just did without ripping all of your cabinetry apart. So something to check when you're looking at these things. Uh, as well as the 5 8 wood in the roof. They also use 5 8 plywood in the flooring. So it's a nice solid floor. You don't have to worry about soft spots or, yeah, over time, high traffic areas. You can get uh, soft spots and stuff like that. But 5 8 plywood, you won't run into any issues. A TV there hooked up to your entertainment system. So again, uh, you can run movies right there. If you get a movie player, set you right up. You've got the main bedroom up front here with cabinets on either side. You also have plugins on either side, so you can charge your phone or run whatever else you need to at the night time. And storage up top. If you come and look back here, you can see the bathroom. And this has the tub shower combo with surround and a skylight up top. Total sleep, sleeping capacity in this trailer. You can fit uh, four in the bunks, uh, two here, possibly two there. You'd be getting a little bit cozy, but, and then two up front. So four, six, eight, nine, nine in total. Thank you for checking out our 267 Jayco J flight. If you like this trailer and you think it's the right one for you, definitely check us out at sellersrv.com. Give us a phone call and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Thank you very much and have a good day.